uh, and then account work came in so that yeah. someone could book through the circuit yeah and then what you'd get like a statement at the end of the month yeah back then yeah what you do a job say hey i'll go over to euston it was on a bit of paper at the end of the evening you you blew what what was on the meter and we had so much work i mean you could fill fill this room with the, the bits of paper and of course they get lost and misplaced what you would you take these bits of paper into the office or no you had a, you, you had a book where you put every uh, job you did yeah and then say once a fortnight they paid up at paid up you went to the shop went to say made a bell where the office was and they give you a check it's for the work you had done what were your favorite ones they were supposed to be, well no it was true I never did him and this I don't know if it was Mr Huntley or Mr Palmer he was you know going to this connected to Harvey and Huntley's biscuits yeah and they've just given him a few bob just to get, get him out of the way because he was a bit and it is the story where he goes into this hotel in Swiss Cottage and they wouldn't give him a room so they went back back next next day and he bought the hotel and gave all the staff the sack well I think that's a bit, a bit of a story but he used to book take a taxi on the Friday night to go to South End or some of the Charing Cross or Fenchurch Street and you had to wait for him and they used to change, and he would come back like Sunday night, but the, the, the driver would do 12 hours and change it over to another cab would do 12 hours and another cab 12. And he used to pay, he would get paid because he had an A1 account with Coombsys. Or he would go, go out jogging at 3 o'clock, no, about 2 o'clock in the morning. Then he would go down to... Fleet Street, there was an open, the cafe that was open all, all the time, Johnny's, and he used to fill a vacuum flask up with mashed potato or something, something else, then eat it in the back of the cab, and then you take him back to the, um, the hotel. Well, that was one of Huntley or Palmer? Yes, I heard, I heard it, heard, and it was true. Where was Johnny's? In, in Fleet Street, oh, I right. used to eat there. The me and my pal was after the pub on a Friday night. Oh, because they worked at the print works. Was it those mates? No, that was before. Oh that. right. <laughs> Were these other cab driver mates? Then? No, no, they're just fellas I knew, knew from the pub. Oh God, I wonder what it's at Johnny's now. It's probably a Tesco Express or something. No, I mean, it's, a, it's a McDonald's. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, was, it was just somewhere there. Yeah. And then when we used to get a doctor, retired doctor, who lived just over Battersea Bridge, and he used to go to the Feeney Arms, where Best used to go. And he used to use it 364 days... Yeah, 364 days a week. And there's one day missing, and it was Christmas Day, and he didn't go then because the pub was shut. And they used to call it, you know who, going to you know where. What, on the radio? Yeah, because everybody <laughs> knew it. <laughs> and who was it? A, doc, a retired doctor. And when he just used, he used to get, always get a cab? Yeah, over, more, over, what time would it be, about a half one? Yeah. And then you'd take him back at th three o'clock, then he used to go down at, half seven to closing time and they used to do that every day of the week oh my god and he, where did they pick him up from oh i can't think it was, it's it's a road off of prince of wales drive yeah and he used to go to what the same pub did you say is george best uh, no yeah it's the feeney arms i mean that's gone now i think f-h-e-n-e -E. i know where it is i can't think of the name yeah where it, is. it was just over Chelsea Bridge or something, Battersea Bridge. Yeah. 
And as I say, I did it so long that they, they, they said, you know who going, you know where. <laughs> and I said, well, you knew him. <laughs> oh, and then you used to have a night, night dispatcher called Johnny, oh, I can't think of his name. Um, he used to live another posh area, off a cross street. Yeah. And they used to take him to Maidervale. And yeah. he had a right gruff voice. And there was a little fella with a bit dodgy leg. And they used to go pick him up. Yeah. What's he got? He's got a bowler hat. He's got an umbrella stuck on his right arm. And the other, underneath the arm, he's got the Jewish Chronicle. America's <laughs> dead. <laughs> I remember, um, I remember you telling me that the um, the good mixer was called the good mixer because for a reason. Yeah, it was a cement. One of those things made, made cement where you turn the wheel and it come out. And I think they did some renovation in the pub and they couldn't get this thing out so they just left it in there. In the basement, yes, <laughs> and then they called the pub the good mixer. Yeah, <laughs> what year, when was that? Can you remember? Uh, 19, this was 1966. All oh, right, because it's quite a famous pub now, yeah, it's still there. Oh, Johnny Onions, he they, they Johnny used, Onions, yeah, that wasn't his, his second name, it was because he's so, where the cinema was, not there used to be a cinema in Chalk Farm Road. As you come over from Camden High Street, it might be Camden High Street, there used to be, a, be a, a cinema on the left. And they, the, the local fellas just used to, stallholders gave him a couple of sacks of onions to sell. So Johnny Onions would just sell onions. <laughs> he lived in, uh, oh, what was it? Harlington House. And he was quite happy though. I often used to drink with him and a few fellas from there. Yeah. And they were petrified of all these do gooders from Camden Council wanting to give them flats. And they said, well, we can't, you know, we're happy as we are. We don't have to worry about gas bills, electric bills, or anything like that. I wish they'd leave us alone. Because Arlington House was the house for down and outs, wasn't it? Yeah. Or oh, they probably didn't call it that. They'd... No. But they had sort of the posh bits where one, they had their own locker, their own, their own bed. Right. And they were quite happy with that. No, they were quite happy. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. And then can you remember what your, when, when you passed your test, your, your taxi licence test, can you remember what your first job was? Yes. Because um, the first job, you don't charge them. Because it's supposed to be unlucky. Oh, well, it's just... OK. Well, that's, that's just like a tradition. Yes. It was... I was on the Camden Town rank and I went to Elthorne Road. Elthorne Road? Yeah, where Mum worked. Coincidence? Yeah, yeah She was actually in that street? Yes. That's weird. Oh, just trying to think. We used to call ranks by the pub. It was often a, another good way of calling work without sorting out. You used to come to the nearest cab rank. So if you was on the cab rank, you automatically got the job. Because uh, it saved a lot of messing about and a lot of time. What if, sorry, what if someone hails you at the rank or... or, or no, they or used to famous. call the rank. And I can't think, well, like the George rank up in Hampstead. Um, by the Royal Free. There's what, they'd have like a telephone there? No, the the fellas you used to rank up there. Yeah. And they say call the George rank going to King's Cross, and then you just blow in and say yeah, I'm first, second, or third. And if you was like the f radio taxi on there, you've got the job. Were there many ranks around London yeah. back then? Yeah. It was just made the job easier, so we got more busier and busier. It's just driving me nuts. The Camden Town, you didn't call it a Camden Mall. There used to be a, a pub on the left hand side. 
and it was well, a foam shop now, but well, it changes every couple of months. Yeah. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. And what's what's this? Sorry, this is a rank in Camden Town? In the high street, you know, where the toilets are. Oh, in yeah, the, yeah. In the middle of the road there. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. What, actually in Camden High Street? That's it. Are they still there? Yeah, it's... It's got, still got rank there? Yeah, it's got busier again. It, not many people ranked up there, but now we're not so busy. It's always about three or four taxis on there. So, what, so if someone phoned in wanting to be picked up from Camden High Street, they'd just go... They'd just radio the rank? No, but... Now, what, what happened? Would say they you wanted a cab, well, St Paul's Crescent. They used to call like if there's a taxi on on Camden Town Rank, I mean, give uh, it give it to them and away right. away you can. It was just a lot easier. Right, because they knew there'd there'd be a cab there. Well, waiting. yes, or it'd be more likely. Yes. Thanks for watching. The chat continues on the link on screen here or in the description. And thanks again for showing your love with a thumbs up or subscribe by clicking on my face or the button below. Now here's the next part of the chat with my dad.